Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center and I have a, um, I have a little job that I've been putting out for way too long. Um, I have my 24-7 server here this is a awesome Lenovo X3650 model 4. I've had it in well in like forever and it has a lot of hard drives. I've actually expanded this server to the maximum amount of hard drive that well this model can you can get one well you can fill it all the way up but well this one has uh, 16 drives and I'm using all of them which is really stupid because I don't really have that much on there so I have like I have started this I have made the computer go move virtual machines to another disk so right here uh, I have eight hard drives and each of these are 500 gigabyte SAS drives and there wasn't that much on it so right now I'm, I'm copying it up here I have a NAS I'm not gonna name that brand I'm still pissed at them I still have my channel community strike because of them so I'm um, right now I'm moving data from these eight hard drives and up there because I want to empty out those hard drives and um, take them out of the server they're mostly being used for inactive servers so just storage space for servers that are off so there's really no reason to have eight extra drives doing that moving it off so um, so let's go see what that looks like at the computer so here is my 24 7 um, server and as you can see it has been up for 367 days um, without being down so it has a, just over a year uptime so <laughs> It might be happy with a reboot at some point. I don't know. It has been doing okay, no problems. But it has some hard drives. Um, this is vCenter, uh, so uh, there is hard drives from other systems. These inaccessible ones are because the servers are off with those drives, and then this LTV is my offline NAS, so that is not on. These top ones have a Samsung SSD in there one terabyte and I have another one also a one terabyte and both of them are in that server then we have a um, 250 gigabyte Kingston King King DN I'm not sure if there's anything located on that let's see if there are any files nope we haven't used it for anything but I have 3.5 terabytes of SAS drives here and there's a whole bunch of servers on there and all of them are off and um, I am right now moving them down to this NAS location which is an iSCSI LAN they're moving I, I can see that the number is going down it takes a while um, for the longest time I couldn't see anything going on but then suddenly they started to disappear or the number went down uh, how many was left and over here it's kind of irritating because it kind of tells me that all the drives are over there but well they they aren't yet it's still working on it yeah there is that so it might take a while before all of those offline system has moved over there these are all rendering servers they ran on XP could probably just delete them but well for the heck of it we're just gonna move them over and then there are some other servers most of which is probably not in use and i could probably go and delete a lot of them but i'm emptying out all of those eight hard drives so that there is nothing on them that i need moving stuff away so that i can take them out i am of course doing this so that the server will have less hard drives and uh, use less power and as the nas is already on all the time they might as well just be up there uh, my problem is that i did a video where i expanded the server with eight hard drives because that was an interesting video to do the, an expansion of the server and then i started using the drives and it's really wasteful to have eight hard drives do 3.5 terabytes of data and i'm just using a fraction of it these old xp servers aren't taking up much space so they can be moved away so there's really no excuse to have that amount of space there and i could like replace all of those eight 500 gigabyte hard drives with one four terabyte hard drive which i do have 
but as so many other things you just don't get around to it but today we are getting around to it stuff is happening okay i didn't copy all of the servers off at once because i wasn't entirely sure what they if they were in use anywhere right now i'm checking this is from the the web page movie uh of movies that uh, my buddy is running he has two servers that is running here at my place um, it's just a, a jump server and a development server so the so the site is not running from my location anymore that also means that i don't have to keep these backups uh, anymore and I have also just checked that this movie live server is also actually not in use and that's a good thing because when I went in here they take up a hundred gigabytes and uh, yeah I must have done something wrong at some point and uh, and made them not uh, thin provisioning so yeah I'm gonna remove those just gonna mark them and delete so, are you sure? Yes. Uh, goes another 100 gigabytes. And there is another 100 gigabytes. Yes. And the last 100 gigabytes. Yes. And that is a good thing because you can see down here my Playhouse Ice Gossy Lawn, which I have only made one, uh, one terabyte is uh, slowly but surely running out of space it's complaining now because there is less than 20 percent left but uh, there is 823 gigabytes used free space 200 gigabytes so i'm gonna see if i can't copy some more onto there see what these different systems are taking up this one is windows xp 64 uh yeah we will move that so we could we could just do that right away just mark it move to and pick the ice go seat there and okay and it's gonna be moving that okay it finished uh, moving that and the last three inactive virtual machines here I am pretty sure that I'm not using those for anything, so I'm just gonna delete them. I have been keeping stuff around for way too long that I'm not using for anything, so yes. And that means that I have now emptied this 3.5 terabyte SAS drive array of eight drives. So I should be able to take them out of the server, but I really wanna get rid of the the drive itself so that it's not here in VMware. I really don't remember if I've ever done this before. I probably have, but I've long since forgotten how to do that. So, but it does have like, it has a delete data store down here and we are probably gonna have to use that. But I thought that maybe if we unmount it first, so we're gonna try and click that one. And yes, that one. And let's see if it's, didn't do anything as far as I can see we might have to to refresh oh yeah it did inaccessible okay so can we then delete it we can still so it's not mounted it's um, inaccessible so let's try and and delete data store confirm deleting data store uh, delete all the files, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we'll try that. And it's gone. That means that I can now go out and uh, remove it on in the server. I might want to tell the server that I'm removing the drives. Let's see if that's possible. So here I'm locking into the um, IMM on the server. This is the management module on the server. It's the place where you can control the server. You can turn it on and turn it off. And I know in the later versions, you can also use, um, you, can, you can do some, some storage things in here. I'm a, this uh, M4 might be ever so slightly too old for that. So let's server local storage uh click on the device okay it does actually see some stuff in here and we can see all the drives down here that i want to get rid of 
do we see some break? Oh, we do see some stuff here. So physical drives, it's this one. And that's a RAID 5. So those eight drives are in a RAID 5. So it's storage pool number two. I don't think we can do much in here. Well, we can see it. It doesn't seem like it, it tells us what's going on, but we are not able to, to do any changes. Uh, that's too bad. No deleting the drives from in here. So pool three and pool four are two uh, Samsung SSDs. And then there is a RAID one of two 500 gigabyte SSDs. You can see over here that they are SSDs. And then we have four one terabyte hard drives in there which are also in use i should also take those out but uh, well right now we need to remove these eight drives down here so i think the only thing that we can do is to go and remove them from the server and it might be complaining about that so i have eight fillers ready for it here that we're going to be putting in and over here i'm going to take out the drives uh these eight it's gonna it's gonna be pissed let's see you in it. it it's gonna be pissed at me when i do that there's nothing to do about that so it's still using those drives so now it's gonna be complaining 500 gigabyte it's gonna be missing that drive in just a little bit yep orange Oh, put those down. There. And now it breaks the array. The array is dead. All of them are orange. Now it's really pissed. I could have powered down the server. There, it's unhappy with me. I have been been bad to it. So I think it's a bit sad. Now it has been running for a year, so I think I'll just let it run a little bit longer. It, it's kind of orange in there, so I might get tired of that, but yeah. Yeah, I wanted to get the discs out of there. It is a kind of a lot of drives, uh, having them sitting in there, not doing too much other than being a library of old stuff that I should have thrown out long ago. So, so yeah, cleaning up a little bit, putting stuff up on the NAS box, which I'm not gonna name. And um, well, I have um, eight hard drives, which are very nice. IBM system, these are which are six gigabyte SAS drives, 7200 RPMs, 500 gigabytes. And yeah, what do you know? Someone might want some of those. They're still good drives. They were just not being used enough for me to actually have them sitting in there. And as this server uses quite the amount of power as it is, being on 24 seven, I thought it would be a good place to, uh, to make a bit of a saving. I am not sure if I can go and check how much power that uses. We should have checked that. That will have to be another day, but I would estimate that they use five watts each. So that's at least a 40 watt saved on um, hard drives by moving the files up to the storage up here, which is also online all the time. So it's always good to consolidate into fewer devices for power consumption, um, but for security and for performance, it might go in the other direction. But for a library like this, for all stuff, it doesn't make any sense to have them spread out on a lot of drives like that. You, um, you're you better off with an offline copy at that point. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do go visit my shop so you can see if I actually put those 500 gigabyte drives up for sale. I don't know, <laughs> but do subscribe so that you can see me again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.